What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today. We are going to cover what's been recently uncovered as being the most OP weapon in PvP Destiny history. And I actually didn't believe it until I saw it with my own eyes. What the flip were Bungie thinking adding this into the game? Now before we get into that people, on this video I am giving away exclusive emblem and sparrow calls. To win one simply hit that like button and join my discord server linked within the video description. Okay, so this weapon is nuts. Seriously, people, I have seen people talking about it all night until I actually saw footage of it with my own eyes and how this thing marks people. I didn't actually believe it, but damn, people, it is ridiculous. I am here and it's time to kill. It's just over half a second, which is beyond anything I think we've ever seen within the game. Now, why is it like this, you may be thinking? Well, I believe it could be one of two reasons. First up, because trace rifles are somehow connected to also rifles, hence why we can infuse them into each other. I believe the half buff they included in the DLC update last night, which was increase the base damage and reduce the precision modifier of precision auto rifles. That could be one of the reasons this thing mounts, or it could be its intrinsic perk, Prismatic Inferno. Fires a solar trace beam and generates a damaging heat field that grows while the weapon continues to fire. This could be what's causing it to kill so quick. Either way, it is seriously overpowered. Now to obtain this thing you need to be seriously lucky and have it drop from an exotic engram or be even luckier and get it dropped from a legendary engram. Footage here was recorded by my pal Dark Arm Games, so big shout out to him for letting me use the footage. So what other perks does it has? Well it has composite stock, flame refraction, projection fuse and chambered compensator. Now the reviews on this weapon I am hearing are like two sides of the same coin. Some people think it's way too OP and needs to be nerfed while many PvP folks out there believe the time to kill this thing offers should be the standard across the board for every weapon in the game. Here I ain't sure on. I mean this isn't COD but then again a faster time to kill would eliminate team shooting that goes on in PvP. Something that puts many people off including myself. A faster time to kill though does increase the pace of the gameplay. Makes things in my opinion much more enjoyable to play and watch and overall would make the game mode more fun of an experience. But hey, I ain't a PvP kind of dude. My opinion probably isn't respected, which is fine, I understand that. But either way, for how PvP is at the moment, this thing is seriously overpowered. The outcome to this and the fun people are having will no doubt result in people bitching. Um, the thing is OP. And because it's an exotic with no set route to obtain it, no doubt Bungie will take this into account and a nerf will come pretty soon. I would say though at the moment that is definitely the right move. You can't honestly have people running around with this in PvP which has this much of an advantage, especially when nothing else matches it. The fix would be to nerf it or to buff everything else to pull it on its damage level. Bungie, I can only see though nerfing this thing. Who knows though, this could have been a test I put into the game to see the response of the community for a faster time to kill in PvP. That could be a smart move. We just don't know with Bungie, do we? Do you support that? Let me know down below within that comment section. Give me your honest opinion on the root causes as to why PvP is boring to play and watch. Besides no ranked, is it because it's just so slow paced? Is it because it's 4v4? Is it because team shooting is unbearable and simply impossible to counter when running solo? Would a faster time to kill fix this? Let me know down below. But guys, I hope you eat enjoyed the video I hope you enjoy your time if you've got this weapon I hope you're loving it in PvP but I'm pretty sure that won't last for much longer but guys thanks for stopping by as always leaving a like really does help me out and hopefully people I will see you on that next one always in the wrong knowing where we stand but you and I Get around.